Hi, this is Thomas Johnston, Director of Tennis at Seacon. I hope you guys have been enjoying all our social media posts. Some of the highlights include Alex's doubles tips on Thursday, fireside chat with Josh on Fridays, and of course, Facebook Live with me, yours truly, on Saturdays at 11. See you soon. Hello everyone and welcome to the third edition of Fireside Chats. In today's singles topic, I'm going to give you two reasons why you should be hitting most of your approach shots down the line. So if you haven't seen my previous video on using your tee to help cover the court in singles, you're going to want to go back and look at that. A lot of what I'm going to be talking about here is going to piggyback on that idea. So if you haven't, go ahead and look at that video now. But let's talk about where to hit your approach shot and why. Okay, so you're playing your opponent. They are on the ad side. They give you a short backhand over here. Okay, now typically you get a short ball, you wanna play the ball down the line. Okay, so let's do that. All right, we'll play the ball down the line just like this. And you should be aiming toward the box target. Another video I did, quadrants and boxes. Go ahead and take a look at that. It's a very safe target. So you hit your approach shot somewhere over here. All right, nice safe target down the line. Subsequently, your opponent has to move to cover the ball and you should move in toward the net. Once you're into the net is when the fun begins, okay? So you hit your approach shot down the line. Now you find yourself at the net, right? You hit the ball, it landed somewhere around here. Your opponent had to move over to the do side to cover the ball, okay? So you approached down the line. Now, as you can see, you're actually going to be using your T in a little bit of a different way than last week. So we have the T is gonna be the first point, you're the second point, your opponent is the third point. But all three points are lined up just like I talked about last week, okay? So what this is going to do is this is going to cut off the angles that your opponent has, all right? So if they go down the line with their passing shot, you're covering the line very easily. You can get over here and cover that pretty easily, okay? Or if they go back cross court over this way, okay? You, which is a more difficult shot because they have to change direction and the ball is uh, farther away from them you are going to be able to move over and cover that cross court shot as well, okay? So again, you are going to put yourself um, in between the two most likely outer shots your opponent's going to hit. It could either be this outside one down the line, okay? Or it could be this one cross court. Either way, when you approach down the line and you still use your tee, you are subsequently staying in between the two most likely shots that your opponent can hit. The final reason you would want to approach down the line is that it's a more aggressive shot. The distance it takes the ball to get to your opponent is much shorter if you go down the line than if you go cross court. This will take time away and make them more stretched out on the run, which will subsequently lead to you getting a more aggressive and more effective first volley if the ball does come back. Thanks for watching this edition of Fireside Chats. If you have any questions, drop a comment below and I'll see you next week.